So anyway, I jumped on the scale. Well, I jumped on the scales the other day, and I haven't done it for months and months because I, I know I've been putting on weight lately, um, and it's just it's just laziness, really. I've just been a lazy bum. Even though I've been doing stuff around the farm and stuff, I've just been really lazy. Um, I was like for months and months. I've been going through like uh, mental pressures. No, not mental pressures. I've just been quite uninspired. Um, unmotivated and you know there's just lots of stuff going around in my head which has taken up a lot of time and so you know you just get into that routine where the only thing that makes you feel better is food um, and you know I love food <laughs> I love it food is my second love apart from uh, art art is number one um, and uh, food is number two um, so where does that leave Eric? Um, no, no, he's first first. Uh, or maybe the other way around. Art, uh, Eric, food. Well, anyway, <laughs> see, see what I mean? I just go off on little tangents. It's hard being me, trust me. You, you would never want to be in my head uh, for more than... Well, you just wouldn't want to be in my head because you would be dragged to the loony bin kicking and screaming and wanting to... I don't know. <laughs> Do things you're not supposed to do. Do yourself. Um, now, what is that? <laughs> um, anyway, so where was I going with this? Okay, yeah. So I put on a few kilos and, you know, people comment, you know. People, are why is the people always got to say something? Like, you know you've put on weight and you're at a party and, um, and then someone will say something like, you know, generally talk, oh, you put on a few kilos. Um... You know, who are the people that do that? Are you one of those people that do that, that does that? Because <laughs> I'm not. I might say behind the back, Oh my God, look at that. She put on so much weight. Well, I say it, you know, I say it not to... I won't say it to their face. <laughs> and don't come on, we all do it. We all... Oh my God, she's put on weight. Look at her. Look at that ass. She's eating for two. Looks like two pigs fighting under a blanket. <laughs> um, anyway, so, you know... Anyway, the other day I just decided, all right, you know, enough is enough. I've had it. I can't be going to America next April um, looking like a bush pig. <laughs> so, yep, started the weight, started the, I dragged the exercise bike, because I do have an exercise bike um, upstairs, which I hardly, well, haven't used in since the beginning of the year. It's just sat there in the corner of the of the ranch room looking all pretty. <laughs> pretty. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get onto it. We've got a garden full, we've got a garden full of uh, carrots. Yes, <laughs> vegetables. Um, because, well, it's autumn now. It's time to pull them all up, actually. Put them in bags and store them. So there's no excuse for me not eating healthy because, you know, carrots are really good for you, they're healthy, um, they're low in fat, you know, they're good for your eyes, uh, they're good for everything. Uh, they're good for, carrots are good for everything. Oh, where is this conversation going? Um, yeah, so I've got, a, I'm motivated now and I'm just going to get in there and once I get off this, once I stop talking to you, I'm going to drag my ass upstairs, put on my pair of, um, Lycra bike pants. No, with the yellow G-string on underneath. <laughs> That's wrong. Um, actually, I'm not. I'm just going to go naked. What is it with me lately and being naked and flashing people? No, I didn't flash that lady. She's, she, who goes around at like 8.30 at night to people's places? I mean, we live in a farm in the middle of friggin' nowhere, really. Um, and she just comes waltzing up the driveway and, you know, I just happened to be scratching myself at that particular time when I opened the door. <laughs> and she was there. Oh, that one's going to be around for quite a while. Actually, I've got another story to tell you, but I won't tell you. I'll save it for another video because, you know, I've been, I've been pretty slack um, the last couple of weeks with my videos. But, you know, it happens when you get busy and you just... Boo. I've made quite a few videos, but it's just editing and putting putting them together. All right, guys, um, that's enough. I'm going to stop being stupid now, and um, 
I just wanted to ra I just wanted to ramble about that issue and about you know why do people always have to tell you um, you've put on weight or whatever. Um, we know it if we've put on weight. We don't need someone else to tell us um, to make it worse. But maybe in some ways, by other people telling you, it makes you get motivated again. So maybe it's you know it's good in a way. But still, my mama always told me if you haven't got nothing to, nothing nice to say, then don't say it. You spray it. Nate. All right, guys. Later. Yeah.